Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Heirloom Permaculture. It's been a while. It has been a little while. <laughs> we've been <laughs> busy though. Yeah, unless you've joined us on our live. Uh, we haven't kicked out a video here in a little while. We, we've been extremely busy. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So today we're gonna kind of take you through an update, and just walk you through all the progress in the, the homestead. Yeah. In fact, I, I may just uh, be quiet and let you watch and throw a little music on there and just kind of nice, go for a walk. Nice relaxing walk through the yeah, a lot of stuff's growing. Yeah. So uh, we've done a lot of work out in the greenhouse, a lot of work out in the tunnel, a lot of work in the garden beds. Yep. A lot of things are just naturally grown on their own because you know we've got a lot of perennials. Which means so, we have a lot of cleanup that we need to do. Yep. <laughs> and the rain's back. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, plenty wet. Back to the muck boots. Right? Yeah, rubber boots, seriously. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, well, sorry we haven't kicked anything out. Uh, everybody knows uh, there's a lot going on right now. Uh, so that's kind of messed with everybody's routines and schedules, but it's also one of the busiest times of the year just for growing. Right. So we're busy anyways. So we've been focusing on that. Uh, you know, our priority for the year is to grow as much of our food as possible. We're also trying to share as much information as we can, but a lot of that's been offline. Just, uh, uh, you know, talking to people on the phone, text messages, uh, and things like that. That's not, not through the videos here, but uh, we'll try to get as much of that information in, in the videos here as we can too. But today, uh, we're just gonna kind of give you a little update, a uh, little visual update of what all's going on. Yeah. So, so uh, enjoy, and we'll see you on the other end. <laughs> Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. All right, so we started out in the greenhouse and we're ending up in the tunnel. Hopefully that little walk around gives you an idea of everything that's kind of going on. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what's growing right now. That's not uh, just everything we have going on. 
Uh, you saw the uh, little pullets. I uh, want to thank Kira at Homestead Dreaming. She uh, got a hold of us, needing to order some layer hens. We yep. needed some. Neither one of us needed enough for a wintertime shipment, so she ordered them all in and actually got them up, got them feathered, yep. and then we were able to go pick them up. Uh, so we appreciate that. Uh, as busy as we've been, uh, that was a that was very much appreciated. It was. It worked out great too because we could yep. just put them in that coop without having to have a brooder. Yeah. So and you know we've got so much going on that that one little chore a day. <laughs> Uh, having those in the brooder, we didn't have the brooder put together. No. Uh, so at the time, so that that helped out a lot. So thanks again. If you're not familiar with uh, Kira and Steve at uh, Homestead Dreaming, be sure and go check out their channel. Yes. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, definitely one step more urban uh, homesteading than what we're doing. I'd, I'd put right. us a little more under suburban. Right. So uh, just another facet of homesteading. Uh, I think you could learn a lot from. So go check her out. Go check them out. Then Steve yeah. is. <laughs> uh, uh, you see him a lot more often now, so yes. I'm glad to see that. They're, 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 he's quite a character, and they're, they're quite a pair. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, we have meat birds on the way. So we've got the brooder together now. They'll be here next week. Uh, first, possibly only batch of meat birds for 2020. I don't know. It depends on how things go. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, you know, our schedule, uh, any kind of travel or anything. That's kind of been the biggest hindrance. Uh, of scheduling meat birds so we'll be here uh, to raise the next bat raise a batch for sure and then we'll see uh, that'll put about 50 of them in the freezer uh, and then beyond that we'll see what's going on everything's up in the air who knows yep so uh but we've got the layers out the new layers out in the coop uh adds to the others we've got 50 something meat birds on the way they'll be in the brooder this week uh, and we gotta get the chicken tractor cleaned up and moved out ready to go on grass uh those will be out in about two weeks so uh you're about to plant some lettuce. Yes. Head lettuce. About to Head go out in the in bed the outside. Yep, with uh, the one with the row cover on it and the holes in it. Uh, I thinned out, got us some radishes here. Yeah. So we've got some radishes to go to lunch. Uh, we need to cultivate. Yes. Uh, probably a little bit of fertilizing we need to do. Oh, still got plenty to do. But uh, just kind of. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to give you all a little bit of an update uh, what's going on. I know it's not. Uh, not a project video or anything like that. Yeah. We'll try to get to one of those pretty quick. We do have some stuff done. It's just uh, we've had to hurry through them so fast that we haven't been able to film. Right. Or we've chose not to. We've kind of prioritized getting it done rather than showing it, right? <laughs> so, so we'll try to get some more out uh, more frequent. Uh, but uh, bear with us because all of y'all that homestead, you know what it, how, how it is. When it's busy, busy it's busy. <laughs> right. So I uh, uh, don't have the luxury of uh, taking a lot of time to get some of these things done. But uh We'll try to keep y'all up to date as much as possible. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed this and we got to get back to work. So, uh, cause it never ends, no, yeah. but never. that's okay. We choose it and we enjoy it. So, uh, it doesn't seem like work when it's, well, it doesn't seem like as bad a work when you enjoy it. <laughs> There's certain chores that don't seem as bad. <laughs> All right. So we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.